sunshine on my shoulders. Mm -hmm. I don't know. 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 That would be like the peak of beauty if I could look like that. Hi, I'm a smooth shopping experience, Christian Mattel. And I just realized I left a lot of magazines in your trunk last week. Huh? Yeah. And welcome to mm. the show where we talk about whatever we want. Is it fine? <laughs> I think that What? 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 Oh, oh, moving. Are we trying to move in? Well, who hasn't moved? Movers, shakers, wood breakers, Christmas shakers. Let's talk about it. I was just thinking about this the other night because you remember moving in like college age where you would call people and be like, I'm going to buy some pizza and beer. Can you come help me move? I am on the same mother page with you guys. <laughs> There, and, and I gotta tell you, this is, uh, I think I know, um, there's a, <laughs> there is perhaps no other activity a, 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 a revelation and an illustration of my lack of character than the moving of them. Because I won't do it. Your mother called and said, I'm moving. You said, you're one of my closest friends, and mm -hmm. I expect nothing. <laughs> well, I, 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 I don't expect you to show up for anything other than professional obligation. I'm dead serious. If it was my birthday, I would make you a it. But I have. I recently helped my friend move. But when I say that, that I envision. I envision. Yeah. No, what do you mean? I, um, I think you have a back brace on. <laughs> like, I think you have like a, a cut off tee that says like, as Tweety Bird says, like, what do you want? I woke up. And then you're doing a lot of like, is this kitchen? That's what I think you're doing. Yeah. So all I'm willing to do is take out the trash. I say, is that trash? And he's like, oh, I just take it. I go to the dumpster, I take a very light load. I start to unravel and I say, I can remember that home. I remember my friends and, and people being like, um, I'm having like a moving party. You're like, don't try to tell me what something is. I'll get there and I'll decide if this is a festive event. Yeah. You can't throw some tinkle on a turd and call it a party. It's like calling it a Mary Kay party. No, it's not. It's a sales pitch, bitch. Yeah, it's a, it's a pyramid scheme. Yeah. Mary Kay party is a great bad game. Oh yeah, it's no, okay, party. Um, oh, party time. You know, Roxy Andrews was thinking of the drug name party time. But party time. I know, but party time. Okay, 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 look into the camera and tell Roxy Andrews he's wrong. Roxy, I can't do it. <laughs> Roxy, you were here to make it unclear. How many times did you move? Well, let's see. I lived in my mom's house, then my grandparents' house, then on my high, my college dorm, mm -hmm. and my brother's dad, and then we set him off. Second mm -hmm. apartment, over on the east side. I'm not really gonna be able to tell you how many. I can't wait to find out. I'm in the east side of Milwaukee. I stayed in that place until I left Milwaukee. Ooh. My first LA place, and now my home. So ten. ten. I've moved ten times in my life. Ten. ten. Okay. So, um, childhood home, college dorm, number one. College dorm, number two. College dorm, number three. First apartment, number one. Um, then, back home. New six months. Then, the Russian tree house. And then, um, stop. What, when I, my parents helped me move in there, that's the way we found the Nalgene bottle for the person in my bedroom. And my, my poor mom and dad, I was 25, you know, that, and they were like, you yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jacques. Then I lived above Jacques for seven years. Oh, how about this? Moving from Russian Treehouse to the, the drag bar. Uh -huh. I got stuck in the storm of the century. So it took five to six hours in a car that wasn't mine, in a blizzard, because it was gridlock the entire time. It was gridlock for about five to six hours. And I had to pee in a cup, in the um, in a bottle, in the... You need to start cleaning toilets. I'm like, I'm just going to address something we've talked about in the show in so many different shades. I just the Nalgene the bottles, the glass bottles, the mason jars, the sinks, the Gatorade bottles. The pee needs to go in a toilet. I don't agree. 
there's so many great options for where to put your pee, and you're always like, no. do you pee I'm going to take the road less traveled. <laughs> do you flush? For the pee? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Poop? No. <laughs> anyway, that's not moving. 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 Um, so, moving. How many places like it? Okay, so, um, sounds like around 10. I think it was around 10. Well, now I have another one, so maybe it's 11. Who knows? Who's counting for it? When I moved into the apartment above the drive bar, I was really gunning for that place um, once it, I knew it was about to become available. I got a phone call from the drag team who uh, was like, All right, the place is yours, but here's the thing. I'm going to leave it tonight. I'm going to leave it $200, and you just got to clean it up a little bit. I was like, absolutely. $200, in retrospect, does not even begin to scratch the surface of an adequate payment required to clean that apartment. You should ask follow-up questions. Now, granted, a drag queen who is also a hoarder, a person, this is a legendary thing now, whom I love, but she had two refrigerators, and she told me, do not open that other Okay? Go, Dorian Corey. Yeah. Uh, Dorian Corey. No joke. Absolutely. Oh, there's such a drag queen move. Yeah. The place is yours. I'm on the run. Yeah. I'm going to leave you two hundred dollars in wet cash. You'll be here in maybe in five minutes. I'm going to leave you a zip blood bag of wet singles. Yeah. You just yeah. got to rinse the blood off it. It's <laughs> yeah. such a vibe. I love that apartment. I do too. Seven hundred dollars a month in downtown Boston in the Bay Village. I thought you died. Unbelievable. I mean, that's how ideal your work conditions have to be to get to the bed. Yeah, it's still called in the mail. <laughs> by the way, I bet you called in when you were literally upstairs in drag anyway. I... No. There were times where I would call in... And I'd turn the lights off and just lay down. Not go to bed, just lay low. Because people knew. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. I was just so... I'd be like, what is wrong with me? It's so insane. Oh. If you're a young person who is able-bodied, Moving is also probably a great summer job. Great for your physique. Movers oh. are often Oh, they're often very hot. I like to tip. I, I tip halfway up front, too. Oh. I have this to move. Can you move this? I have, um, the, when, when I was moving from Hollywood to downtown, the movers I had were particularly sexy, and they were rushing. I, I was just, I was trying so, so hard to have sex again. You should have been in drag. I know. Currently, my dishwasher is on the fix, and when COVID is canceled and I'm ready to have it fixed, I'm ready to I never feel more glamorous or more housewife than being in drag when the service person comes over. Me opening that door in this bozo drag, I'm like, I do you want a glass of ice cream? I made, I just made a pint of ice cream. Can I buy a Chardonnay in the fridge? Here's a good idea. Move around the time of and ask for your birthday present and we're gonna have to make them boozle. Hey, it's my birthday, you don't have to send me anything. Come with you boxes and then I'm gonna take us all to the civil or whatever. Or dig up a little dirt, you know, do some research. Yeah, blackmail. Is this you in this video? And then it's like someone, a snuff film? Yeah. I yeah. hate for anyone to see this. Yeah. You know, I got some, uh, I got some crystal melting bottles in my apartment yeah. I'm not gonna move them fast. Oh, 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 okay. I, at the time, was having a sex doll. No, no. So my mother Mama. had to carry out a torso, a latex torso sex doll and load it into a box that it came with. And you know what it said on the box? Oh, it's mega machine. Ultra mega, it's something as, it, it said four, like 14 pounds of real poundable. And I swear to God, every, every inch of that box was so lurid so vulgar, so nasty, and just, and just, and my, my poor mother, 60 years old, she had, it, my son is some headless woman. Wait, when was this? I just a few years ago. So was it Jennifer? Jennifer with a Jennifer. <laughs> Mega flat. No, Mega flat. No, Jennifer was gonna be, be disposed of. Yeah. Pin her. Pin at her. Yeah. Yeah. Apartment. yeah, down the track. Down the track. I, <laughs> <laughs> Dang. I don't know why I think it's, <laughs> Dang, I I think it's so funny. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm from Milwaukee, so my mind goes straight to Jeffrey Donner. But you can clean this torso and threw it away. 
As if she's already without dignity. You can throw her dead body away. My mom saw it, saw the box, had a had a laugh with the movie. They had a whole exchange about it. It was the whole know? thing. She told me. Pat McCook. Pat McCook. Give it up. Girl. Um, so that, those are the kind of indignities that you suffer when you, you have to be moved, you know. Yeah, let's just say this. Definitely, if you're going to get movers, like you just said, do a little pre-moving. Absolutely. I, like for me, my sex toy. Oh, I was, I'm just going to say. in your own box. Just going to say. That will not be open there. And fine. She was at my house, and I was like trying to like clean up because she was helping me like organize my closet. And she, she was like watching me clean up and goes, "You don't have to be embarrassed. I saw your pocket <laughs> pocket." <laughs> Great job, man. Totally <laughs> oh, a little short girl. Pocket, pocket five thousand or something like that. Make a Make a slut. Make a slut. It's so degrading. Because it's not a slut. It's not a person. Also, there's no head. She was probably like, what? Yeah. Why uh, isn't this a man? added layer of confusion. <laughs> Just like, we, as we need to be more confused, less clear about the situation. When I finally move, like quit entertainment move, mm. I won't have any guests. Yeah. You won't know where I am. You won't be able to reach me. Yeah. I will be living like Sydney Prescott in Springfield. <laughs> Out somewhere, yeah. nobody knows where I am. Yeah. Until I get a call from my dead mom's voice, <laughs> and then I have to, you know. Maybe makes me a little sad sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, only because um, you, you kind of associate a whole phase of your life with where you live with We're leaving an empty apartment. It's, it's a little sad. It's very sad, but you can't say, like, you know that, that, that cliche of, like, one last gift before you turn the lights off? I feel that, I feel that very deeply. Yes, totally. Oh, my God. I didn't realize, when I moved to California, I was on tour. Then I did the whole thing. Yes. With an assistant that she didn't know she was going to live in. Oh, yeah. I'm a terrible person. Yeah. I I'm not a good person. I'm not a good person. Me neither. Yeah. I'm not good at punching the face, but I'm not going to go out of my way to make you feel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. <tea>. Yes. <laughs> Now, if you have a question, why don't you go ahead and speak at where we're going to use the hashtag that hit me. Well, thank you so much. Hey, pretty ladies. What advice do you have for someone moving thousands of miles away from home for the first time? Oh, my God. Where is she? <laughs> 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 you want to move a thousand miles? Go yeah, sit on his feet. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the people who know what that's from will laugh, and the yeah. people who don't are like, what are you talking about a suit? Yeah. You want to go swim in a pool? Where is it? What is, I mean, a thousand miles? Oh, get rid of that. I'm, I think it's a, it's a family heirloom. A heirloom? Heirloom. <laughs> Keep it. But literally everything. No. Yeah. Uh, the, I say, get rid of absolutely everything. Cut your hair. Diet. Uh, Become an alcoholic, you go to A, it's a wrap. Yeah, join an adult intramural sports league, make some friends. Yeah, no, honestly, get involved in, in a good activity. Pottery, uh, matinee, um, get into uh, the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, volunteer, library, library's always looking for volunteers. It's pub, public library. Public library. I love this place. And I do too. I want to move into it. Okay. I'll just leave. Yeah, I want to move into the, um, a floor. I want to move into a unit in the bottom. The first one? Yes, I do. There's one for sale. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Would you let me do that? Yes! You can look at my building. I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But the fun, the fun thing about moving, moving the human body. Moving the black. I'm, yeah, I'm very into movement. Movement classes. Because when you move, you realize that. I was at a Wimberley once, I went to see Wimberley and I hadn't seen him in a while, and he, I walked in and he went, when's the last time you moved your body? Am I 70, David? Like, <laughs> <laughs> when's the last time you moved your body? Like, I walked in like yeah. this, like a yeah. girl. Anyway, drama. Oh, God, it's cold. Oh, that microphone set, hello. Uh, 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 I don't know. 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 I don't know.
I know they need jewelry on their hands. Somebody told me I was hot, sexy, fly, and beautiful, and I'm nothing of the sort. Chrissy Mattel. And I'm a fat. Welcome to the show we talk about whatever we want. To be tight. And not you. That's right, Jen. You do? Oh, no, I do. Where did I, literally, I was yesterday at the house, and I was like, I better go home to you guys see you tomorrow. Yeah. That's what kind of relationship is. Yeah. And I, I mean, I'm completely It was yeah. standing through the hourglass of, like, this is more than one day a week. It's already yeah. over And I was like, we were making each other laugh. I was like, no, we got to take it. We got to do it. Who? Period. He on period, sis. Pop off with go period. 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 I don't know what to ask I'm, you know what I, you know what I do, you know what happens? From 8 p.m. to 10 p.m., that's my lonely, that's my lonely thing. Really? Yeah. And then I start to claw the curtains, and I start to rub my leg, legs together, and I go on the line. You talk to the lady? Mm -hmm. I just got lonely. I haven't been lonely all the time, and I'm yeah. catching up. I'm catching up. I wanted to go dancing the other night so badly, I couldn't tell you, and I've never done it. Yeah, I wish I could. I would let's get you know, let's get like the happy and do it. Hey, you guys see a student and they use my pod and just go there go, let's see this on the dance floor. Oh. Rain on me and just two bald yeah, spinning. Yeah, 40 years old. Uh, yeah, let's get two pairs of feelings <laughs> and one of those ribbons. <laughs> Are they okay? I would love that. Yeah. I have a little fun. Really? I'm a little concerned because I couldn't fit my, I didn't put any rings on or any jewelry because I, I, like, skin's feeling a little tender. Yeah. And then it's very strong and stretchy. And a little stretchy. Like, I don't think there's skin fits to do it. Is it? Why are you laughing? At my age, with all this collagen, my skin's not straight back. Like, straight back. This is how you know you're in shape. <laughs> yeah. It's very, um, it's very, it's very, it's very men in black. It's an alien in a, in a human body. Not for me. Thank yeah. you very much. Oh, could you do this? Ooh. I do something similar, which is I have a fake eye. Would you die if I just took out an eye and you never knew? When I was a I like Did you ever think that every story of our lives has already been told and looked up? Every single one. No yeah, matter what it is at this point, I'm like, I'm not talking about that. Nothing new. When well, we're packing outfits for this, I'm at the point where I'm like, I want that. Yeah, I know. And I was going to say, you talked about being... I don't know if I can say this because the person will see it. No, they Oh, they just will. Yes. yes. My boyfriend, I think we were on the show and I was talking about wanting to have sex and drag for the first time. We're watching the show and I'm on the screen going like, this is my year to have sex and drag. And I just feel him go. <laughs> like, uh, are you going to tell me about that? And I was like, yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> I don't know, but see, are you ever trying to have a hookup drunk? But like, well, are you ever getting yeah. drunk and then looking for it? Yeah, yeah. That doesn't yeah. happen to me. Yeah. I'm the opposite. If I get a little tipsy, I'm forgotten about that. If I'm drunk, we'll have an iron tip smoke. Unless I get to the point of blackout and then it's the leg spread. Well, I have a boyfriend, so he knows that he can weaken that Bernie's music and that it's consensual. I can be, you know. I'll be like, that's the best sex ever. And I'll be like, we had sex. But that's love. Yeah. That's love. But that's love. That is love. Like, who's like doing edibles and having sex? He is? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? It just makes me tired. Yeah, you're gonna go up. Let's make you hungry. I can't do that. You do not eat yeah. for dinner for hunger. I'm having. Sound about the edible thing. They do make you hungry, but if you push through it, it's like That's like um, an ambient. Push through it in the world of Oh, oh, you push through the sleepiness and then you get busy. Oh, and now you're screaming. What are you Why screaming? You got a pitch up. 
and you are you are chilling. You are living. You're listening to Rain on Me. Yeah. You're in a swim cap. A swim cap on uh, pad shorts. <laughs> no bra. And you are letting go. Well, no. Any pack on the front and back. <laughs> you are letting go. No, you got chilling. Chelsea, this is baby. <laughs> you're 40. Yeah, you're 40. Chelsea, this is baby. This is what I do when I'm on this dress. This is like healthy coping mechanism. I just better my do. And then to yourself, I do yes. I also, I also sing, we talked about this, I also sing and say a lot of different things. Oh yeah, yeah. I am in my house alone saying, if I hear something in a commercial, an ad, a jingle, I'm Wait, saying it over and over again. Tell me, tell me the one that you're saying over again, because it's so funny. I would be surprised if you never tried to use this at the end. I couldn't stop saying it. I'm doing the dishes. I wouldn't be surprised if you never tried to use this at again. It works so many different contexts. And it means nothing. Nothing. That, I love that, I love, um, I'll be in bed just like, oh, 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 O'Reilly, feeling it. My new one is, oh, the people watching this are lonely. Yeah, if you're lonely at home, that's all right. And if you don't think you're lonely, you're watching this. You're lonely. Your emotions are backed up. Nobody ever says, I love watching Aaron because everything in my life is good. Yeah. No. That never happens. People are like, when I'm standing on top of my roof <laughs> with a knife about to jump, yeah. I turn you on and I talk about them. Yeah, or when I started probably with Cherry Factor. Oh, literally. So I have I had people say, my wife has to wait for and when she's in the hospital, she just loves watching those videos. Yeah. Mm. I mean, that's so I'm not saying that what we do is important, but I don't think they're in the hospital watching Pop Death. That's all I'm saying. Loving yourself is a trick for loneliness. Self-love is a trick for loneliness. Guess what you can do when you feel lonely? Okay. Yeah, you can cry. Watch some porn, watch a movie. If you are alone, I recommend the following thing. Calling your friend. Texting you. Text to the friend. Oh, how about that? Go through your list of friends or people that you know. Who might be lonely as well? Reach out to a helpless person. <laughs> feel better after you hear how sad they are. Yeah. Somebody you know recently has been happy. I think we're always afraid to reach out to people. The other day I had a little panic attack and I said, crank them over. I was shocked if I was Never happened. Shocked. I never happened. I literally, literally got up to him like, she's reaching out to me for help. She's reaching out to me for help. And I started, I'm reaching yeah. out to that I started, for help. I was like, oh yeah, thank you. I was like, yeah. So, happy. you're like, well, guess I've got my together after all. I Maybe that puts out the window. I backed out the window, but a place came over, I wouldn't let her know. Yeah, I can't go to the other side. So, like, I, yeah, I, I was very, 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 that was very enjoyable. And you know what was nice? We had a big bowl of Starburst. And I realized I didn't want too much of candy. She wanted candy. I wanted Starburst. She wanted candy. <laughs> Just so you know, when you hug her, there'll be lots of candy left. Amy Jones and Sugar Pill. Kim Chi told her, when you meet Chris, you need to give her a hug, just know that she sprinkles to the tent to talk with the whole time. Mm -hmm. Kim Chi exposing you that mm -hmm. I just feel like, I, I'm so done. You know what has really put my name in? Oh. Feet sticking out from under the couch. Okay, there's like someone saying, you know what? You've been looking for it. Oh, I'm not alone. I'm with Mario. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I'm with Mario. You are not alone. We are not, not allowed. allowed. Yeah, we are not allowed. I, Bingo, we are not in allowed. Crowd, yeah. No one's allowed. No one's allowed. No. Exactly. In Sweden, we do not get alone. We have paper and that and paper and the two paper to do. It's not alone. It's not alone. It's not alone. I mean, I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> And now it's time to answer some questions. People have wrote in with their questions on Twitter using the hashtag WowHelpMe at World of Wonder. Hey. Yeah. I really don't know what to talk about. I don't know I've never been offered. I don't know. I I don't think. I, yeah, but you don't care. Like you're not you're not hung up about it. Yeah. But weird, you don't want to be weird. You don't want to be weird, just stop being weird. Yeah, and the other way around it is, don't try to like, be a bit. Don't try to be funny. No. Trying to be funny is not the move. You can always 
you always die from. You know what I mean? Nobody thinks you You don't have nobody is gonna be like, oh you're so quiet, I hate you. Uh, do you know what I mean? Like nobody's gonna be like, oh my god, you're not loud. What the f Yeah, you need to just, if you're like a little bit socially awkward, maybe no. you just need to get close to somebody who's also socially awkward. Or Become like the, the yin and yang, get a best, a best friend who's really loud and balances you out. Yeah, they'll, they'll take the heat, they'll take your, you know, the flower will be on them and they'll fast and they'll take the but, but every, every relationship, there's a garden and a flower. You don't have to be a flower and you get a flower. I'm the flower. <laughs> <I'm the devil. laughs> we certainly do have that house. Yes, you do. That is the type of thing I would say alone in my house. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm a Sybil. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if you never saw the new switches again. Oh, 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 Riley. <laughs> like a parakeet that was left around the TV. Yeah. That's me. I was, and I was making my shake. I was saying, this is war, peacock. <laughs> 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 What would you do if I came over here and just got on it and it went straight on it? And I said, <laughs> disappeared. Never saw it again in my life. Dude, I have a question. How come every time I tell a guy you can put it right where you want? He always wants to put it in the Oh, my eight man. Look out, there's sexuality up there. <laughs> Wait, ooh, combo with these. Combo, okay. combo. Oh. <laughs> One other way. <laughs> oh, my, my, oh. Oh, I don't know if you find me Hi, I want a party, party, party for my Yang's mom. Trixie Mattel. And yes, for $30, I will press my breast against your windshield. Katya. And welcome to... Mm. The show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. I'm posing, I'm posing, I'm posing, I'm posing, I'm posing. Nice thing Power. Who's got it? Who wants it? Who wants to have sex with me? Who has the power? Let me tell you about power. Just today I had a schedule conflict and I had to text a meeting of six people tomorrow and say I need to move it to 30 minutes later and Evelyn said yes. That's yeah. power. That's power. The yeah, new musician. Oh, so hold on. Hold on. You call the shot. You make the, you make the call. You call the call, but, but you have. It's open. Oh, oh, <laughs> and you're in a position of power as okay. somebody who is at the brink of death or at any moment could flip a switch and cause a whole chasm. mess of destruction. A chasm, yeah. Let's just say that people know that their time with you is fleeting. <laughs> and uh, that yeah. if they have you in the room, they better turn the cameras on now. Yeah, they better, they better make the most of it. Yeah, because I might know. never come back. <laughs> and that's a form of power. Yeah. Now, sexually, do you like to have the power? Oh, no, 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 no. I go full fem dom. Okay, I love it. I, so I just, I try to reintroduce re myself into the, the Los Angeles dating scene. Like the, Ooh, I know, well, I was there. Oh, you had a debut front ball. You came out. My coming out party. <laughs> yeah, my cotillion. I, it was you, we were at the old spaghetti factory, <laughs> and you walked into the kitchen with not open toe shoes on, and you said, I'm here, boys. And, and like the four, cooks, that. the four cooks looked at you <laughs> and just kept cooking. <laughs> I, this is what I love. I love to answer the door and tiptoe. <laughs> like, I answer the door and tiptoe, and I have one shoulder on. Why don't you choose them? It's not right. I'm gonna be like, not choose the house, because she's about three months. Thank you. But I love to do, because I'm vulnerable, and I'm soft and gentle and fragile, and then I answer the door and I'm like, oh. and then the once you get into the bedroom, I can throw them down, and I just go to town. Are you in drive? Absolutely. Okay, so if you're hooking up not in drag, I think that's it. Oh, no. No, no, no. And you're the opposite. Yeah. You're on your knees. Yeah, spaghetti on my, on my shirt. Yeah. Again, oh, spaghetti <laughs> factory. <laughs> spaghetti on the shirt, you're crawling to the door. Yeah, yeah. And they open the door, and you, you have an inhaler in hand, yeah. and you're reaching out to them. Like, yeah. Oh. And if they don't bring me the New York Times or the Washington Post, you get out of here. I love power. I want it. You can have it. You just have to call 
Los Angeles Water and Power Department. Well, think about that kind of thing. There's no power in my house. Oh no. How can I plug anything in? You know what I mean? I'm talking about power. Well, you can't do any drag without power. You need air conditioning, you need lighting, you need stereo music. Like in, in the in the old tiny tiny days? Yeah, I don't think they weren't gathering around the campfire to do a drag show. I don't think so because you also need music. You need playing music. No, you don't. So what, you have the singer of the, the of the cave people yeah. sing the song, and then you have the cross dressers do the lip sync to the live singing. Okay, um Happy birthday to you. Wait, that's copyrighted, isn't it? Nope. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sydney. Hey, yeah, that's it. Mama. Yeah, that's right. But can't get it there because I don't have any water. Well, I know that you like to enter every drag show with a, a wooden pole on your shoulders and two buckets. And you enter every drag show climbing 10,000 stairs. <laughs> yes. No but bend in the knee. But also, yeah, also because there's no bending, water spills everywhere. Everywhere. But then you go back to the top, you gotta go back to the It's a mood piece. Yeah. Um, I mean, what do you think in relationships, though? Power. What do you think I'm power doing in that side? You're in the driver's seat. I'm, I'm in the sidecar on a motorcycle that takes your duct tape. I mean, that's a new drag for living. Why do you do it? Oh. 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 Power. I'm not kidding. I mean, especially, you guys have seen us out of drag. Fools and goblins. Fools and goblins. Yeah. It looks like you spread mayonnaise over the trip keeper and threw them in a deep fryer, okay? <laughs> like Orville Redenbach got wicked. Absolutely. Yeah. Orville got wicked. <laughs> and if you watch us, where we get in drag, suddenly, especially before Drag Race, when you walk into the gay bar, no one cares. When you walk into the gay bar like this, that's when it started. Money. Money. Bring money. attention, photos, VIP. People hear your name, name once and remember it. Okay. Very important. Very important. Money, oh glory. Now let me ask you something. What is the key? Go on. How about this one? This is cold. Oh. Oh. I pull you over. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, you were speeding. And then I looked. Oh no. Let me just get my driver's license and registration. I didn't think there was a problem officer. Have a great day. Oh. And then my mic cat falls off and the police officer realizes I've been wired. He's wearing a wire! He's wearing a wire! He's wearing a wire! <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Do you know why I pulled you over? Okay. Now I have a new reason to pull you over. You're yeah, driving again. Oh. Police. Police. They have power. Unchecked power. What is power? My mother, she said to me, what is fair? Fair to me is when the table, they listen to you. <laughs> Sweden. <laughs> That's Sweden, mama. Funny. Uh, where's the power? They just take over the next yeah. 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 play. <laughs> Powerful people, he's on the list. RuPaul. 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 The Catholic Church. The Pope. The Pope. The Pope. The Pope. Who could have been? Who could have been? Yeah. Pope the Pope. Yeah. Pope the Pope. Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. I mean, girl. Elon Musk. I did an interview the other day and I was like, George, like, what does it mean to you to be in, on, in like, some golf and jazz? I was like, yeah, it's a good thing. I started to think about it, I was like, well, it actually prefers a lifelong dream and to be in a coven of witches. Power. Okay. What's the se what's the superpower you want? It's called me. It is? Yeah. Okay. Like, I want to have to do that, too. Oh, you don't, so you don't even want a calm thought and something. You want the... Yeah, I want to be dramatic. Because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change too much. Because then I can imagine you just become a fat blob in the house. You never move. Yeah. yeah. I want Terry White. Like, that's yeah, that's what I mean. Like you can I'm not gonna open my mouth but the potato chips to fly in. Yeah, I'm gonna go get them if you're like a regular person. Yeah. But when people cross me. And I'm speaking about tiny trick. Yeah, it's a tiny trick. Now when the tray comes over, you walk over on your uh tippy toes and then you open the door with your mind and you're saying like this. Okay. This is funny. <laughs> Again, power. I would think in most 
let's say, cis male femme presenting sexual encounters, mm -hmm. the woman has the power. She's got the cookie The men want it, and the men are usually so repressed and like, thinking about it for months and obsessed with it, that if you were like, yeah, you can come over, but you have to call through pictures. Right. They would. Asia, my friend Asia, she said, come over with a, with a carton of course. A carton, not a pack. A carton of nucleus. She did my laundry list one time. I have it. You want it? Wear the new port. <laughs> you know why she quit? Because Instacart was a thing. She said, you want to come over? I need three sticks of Lady of the Lakes, unsalted Irish butter. I need some heavy whipping cream. I need some quinoa and the newest OK magazine. <laughs> that is literally what it was. It's amazing. Well, when it comes to polls, you don't have it. You can always get it. And when you do have it, you can always use it. Yeah. Dial 1-900. These are some user submitted questions submitted via Twitter at World of One using the hashtag WildHelp. Well, I feel like we do that. I get hit on a lot by BL guys on apps. Should I ignore them or think of myself as a BL charity worker? Very good. Go for it if I may say so. Well, I, at a point, I felt some type of way about this because, because I felt at one point that Grindr was being co-opted by, or, or invaded, infiltrated by um, BL straight guys who wanted to take advantage of the fact, wanted to take advantage of kind of uh, self-loathing um, inherent in a gay man by like uh, doing that straight, like putting straight guys on the pedestal and doing whatever they want on their things, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's kind of so, like, be fairy, if you're gonna, yes. if you're gonna, you want to finish, you better get the straight, you know, they the have a CD. Hello, exactly. Yeah. I do like the energy of you going, it's not the same, but like Tiffany Collar says, if you're black, you, uh, if you're standing in it, standing it, not fades. Yeah. If you are a little bit LGBTQIA, you don't get to enjoy the fruits of it until you can do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then yeah. again, you don't know people's situations, people yeah. are damaged. Yeah. If somebody grew up Catholic with, you know, a fear of God, yeah. is it our place to be like, yeah. Listen to Jessica yeah. Simpson, or do not have sex with me. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, Jessica Simpson. Jessica Simpson. Jessica Simpson. I love Jessica Simpson. She on so good. Moon. Mm. 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 Beautiful. Yeah. You gotta ask yourself, is this forcing you back? See, am I going back, am I taking steps backwards? Yeah. In terms of my, my living in my feet. Same question. Yeah. Would you sleep with a gay guy if he was married and his husband didn't know that he was born? Well, if you think about it, because I've been on this, I've been the other one. I'm a baby. But like, uh, the she's other one. The other one. She's the other one. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. then, the, the, I'm kind of Bottom line, line, if you're participating in straight related activity, yeah. you don't get to enjoy this freedom. The fruits of gay labor. Boom. And that's period. And that's on the periodic table scene. Period. I think, I think that was really helpful. I just I love you. <laughs> the way I help people. I think you're so wrong. Constantly raising the bar for all of us. And doing it flawlessly. <laughs> I'd say I'm surprised. But yeah, I've seen you. <laughs> up close and <laughs> personal. <laughs> but I know you. I've seen you. A lot of power in the circus. A lot of power judgment. Oh my god. How funky is your chicken? How funky is your chicken? How loose is your goose? My whole totally loose. You know when you have an album made for something and you need something to say? Yes. If you always think of this as my baby dress. This is when you were at Little Home competing in the 1990s. 92, that's right. Yeah. And you stayed pretty high. No. You had to go up to the judges and show them your broken state. And I said, I have a dad out of I do I tell you what, Tom White, and I worked with him, and he told me tonight, he's like, he's like, congratulations on winning Drag Race. I was like, you have four Olympia in the that is. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But you don't control the me. I'm, no, I want to cross dress in the Yeah, it's kind of a Yeah, you, you still down in here. Hi, I'm looking for love in all the wrong places. Put me a towel. And I've been rubbing that towel on the bathroom towel for the past year. Welcome to the mm. show where we talk about whatever we want. This is how. Mm. 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 Mm.
Let's talk about love. Oh. I do love love. I really do. If you can't explain being in love with a person who's not there. You are in how to explain it. To be frank, I am um, very far in love. Obviously. Look at this outfit. She's a Russian hooker. He's a bomb bossy bottom. Get ready to boss, because this December Katya's ready for love. This film is banned everywhere. Look at this out there. This thing's crying for help. Can I say something? I don't want to. I can say I can also say No, you cannot say it yet because I have to tell you why I'm in love. With the idea of becoming in love. I'm going to be controlled to the last. I'm going to be micromanaged, stealing, and completely possessed by an Italian American man. That's not it. <laughs> Just so no. you know. <laughs> no, it sounds like you want to be in an abusive relationship. Exactly. And love is good. I say it's pink. Okay. <laughs> it's not that you're not lovable. It's that I can't imagine you being a lover. It happened once. It did. Who was it? Oh, put the music. Yeah. Show the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> it happened once and it was not recorded. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. A long time ago. Yeah. Many, many years ago. Are you making me that? When you tell me a real story, when I mean, you tell me a fake story, they sound exactly the same. Yes. I never know what's happening. You want a boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Tell people you have a boyfriend. Because gay men find for nothing more than something they can. You start wearing a wedding ring, people will want to be a boyfriend. I've got a wedding dress. Wedding mm -hmm. dress. Left the offer. <laughs> Guy, guys don't want... Guys. Yes. <laughs> Which is the name of the fragrance. The name of my new fragrance. Sympathy. It's the least you can do. It's a look. It's kind of good. I'm falling in love. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you in this scenario are you running? Okay. 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 Oh, why, are you, why, are you, why are you going, oh, I fell in love. Like you pushed your pants. Ooh, I'm falling in love down my leg. <laughs> ow, I fell in love. Ow. Ooh, ow. You can't. It's called the call doctor. What happened is when I, when I came home from the math tournament, I was trying to ride. I thought I was walking so much time, and I fell on a long dark. I went up my feet, and I started looking, and I fell. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Yeah. If you were to be in love, what do you think that person would be like? Let me tell you. His name is Diego. His, the, I'm just going to name him. So, um, I'm pretty open, but his name has to be Diego. Yeah, yeah. So there's a guy. He's about 38 to 42. He's from Mexico City. He comes from money, but he made his own. And um, uh, he's an engineer. He's a mathematical mind. He loves music and safety and talent. He's not because of the name. He's a big best friend. We moved to LA about four years ago, but have yet to have like a real good social circle. Mm -hmm. We knew our club and the candle was before it was the end of the tier for God to be I will say that we do have a little bit of an obsession with youth and beauty, and we do like younger guys. I think we probably got to this I don't think so. I don't want that. I don't I, want. I don't. I just told you. That's fine. Have you been in love since you were 16? Uh, let's say, just, let's say, notable and sexual. Yeah, that's about it. Notable infatuation. This is the name of your dating service. <laughs> Notable infatuation. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, <laughs> Notable infatuation. Talk with my sympathy. Did you do this? No. Time goes in there. The time goes in there. Every side is still winning. Is that, is that, is that so good? Right? That was some smart. <laughs> I love myself. But what if you all waited for the same? You know, I mean, like, I'll please. There's going to be a sin. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. There's got to be something in it for me, though. I, now I've decided I need a French to do Yeah. I need to talk to them. What's the most, I mean, what's the most reliable? That's the best thing about the relationship is what language is going I'm not good at that. That's me and Megan. My friend Megan, we only, we only saw men as a, as a means to a, a linguistic end. So we have, because we need a lot of practice. You should be going inside. But you know what French people want to do? Yeah. Speak English. English! Perfectly. They're not going to help you. They're surely not. Chinese can help. That's a little too ambitious. I mean, that's a why do you need to 
I don't need a partner. Because he's friends. Oh, that's what I, that's what I, um, So you want, wait, you want a boyfriend to teach you friends because you need friends to speak to him because he's your boyfriend? That's a perfect time. <laughs> perfect time, though. I stayed up all night first time I fell in love. Stayed up all night with butterflies in my stomach. Can I share an important story with you for my year? Give me that, give me that, give me that mirror, did you? It's about knocking out. I was in a hotel that was connected to a mall. I was walking in the mall and I was like, I'm gonna do a little. I'm not doing mm. Not at the mall, in my hotel. So this guy was like, meet me at the second floor of the Neiman Marcus in the handicapped stall. And I'm thinking to myself, girl, I'm not tall. Oh. Also, I have a hotel. Yeah, come So let's go to the hotel room. Straight, right? Come to the hotel room. Try to check it. He said, I can't get, I can only like get into it if it's public. And I'm like, okay, damage, get out of here, right? I mean, okay. Mm. So then he goes, oh, I guess I'll be at the second floor of the Neiman Marcus. And he leaves. And I was like, yeah, okay, bye. So you mm -hmm. went. Right. I'm not going to confirm or deny what happened. Because I'm too famous to stop in a Nemus Marcus. Mm -hmm. Marcus. You did. Marcus. You did. That's what they should call it. You know, Nemus yeah. Marcus. He was like, but let's just say. You did go deep. Falling in love. I. Mm. They said you wanted to be good, bro. You said you were ready to be. I know, but. I think you're ready to be. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, what do you want to do Oh, um, I think because I've, I've completely grown and changed over the last two days. <laughs> so I've been outgrown. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I've been panhandling for two yeah. days. I've been taking part in this um, intimacy workshop in Maine, and after two and a half days, I've decided that not only have I grown as a person, I've completely transformed. And I'm ready to love mm -hmm. and do it now. And now you're teaching your own class. Yeah, sign up in my class. <laughs> sign up in my class. Yeah, how to be available. Make yourself available. Don't miss out on the chance to love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I find falling in love to be very simple. I know that's not relatable content. I think it's simple, but I I've mean. never had a problem. Like, I think I just the personality type where I can fall in love with my I don't think I'm that person. I mean, it's not because I'm lucky and, like, the right man run at me, I think maybe I'm just very like, well, you want to be in a I'm list? hungry, order for me. Uh -huh. You're going to figure it out, fellas, yeah, my I'm legs are open. <laughs> I'm not a picky eater. Gotcha. This is not very complimentary to a boyfriend, man. That hurts? No, what you're saying. The back of that I'll choose anybody. <laughs> no, because I'm... The back of that way is not very complimentary. <laughs> this is the, this is the, this is the uh, accurate metaphor for what you've got, yeah. to, like what I've got going on. Visible tracks. Yeah. Ball in the back. Visible tracks. Snatch up the front, expose skin in the back. <laughs> Tumor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, like literal like wound, wound, expose skin in the back. But that's me. I am very... You need to dissect the... No, I was just going to say, I really don't. Mike Rippin? Mike Rippin? Off in the back. What's in the back that's going on? It's hanging out of any day. We talked about the plight of people with Mike Rippin, we haven't talked about the people with Mike Rippin. That's a struggle. <laughs> I can't even see it. It looks like the people can be the freckle. It looks like they got a piercing at Claire's. Did you get a piercing to go down and get your ass buzz? <laughs> love is my friend who's pretty easy. Okay. Okay. I think I love a Okay. I think you notice that everybody who makes you love That's true. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not, you know. <laughs> Truly, I, I don't, I don't often, I, you know, I, d I definitely do love you very much. But to me, that just means, you know. Yeah. I love you too. I, I love you. Know. I'm something. Oh my God. <laughs> I am allergic to you. Have a picture day. You sent me a picture of you in a rubber mask with rubber on. Yeah. And I showed it to my boyfriend. He goes, "That's your best friend." <laughs> And I went, I know. I know. Uh, well, and then I said, you know what? I have that mask and those things in my closet. Those go. two people found each other. Birds of a feather, mama. Birds of a feather. <laughs> if you have a question, you can tweet at World of Wonder using the hashtag Wow. Uh -huh. How do I subtly drop a hint to my friend that I let him rim harder than a bullet brain of the ass? 
Can I just sit? Just well, I do this one does. What? Oh yeah. Which is quite unfair. I think. Hi, I am very sexually attracted to you, and I want to know if you're on right now. Mm -hmm. If you're interested, let me know. I'll give you some time. I'm not going to pretend to Your fear of rejection has to be off of it. Yeah, 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 that's the thing. you got to let that go. You gotta but let when you go. find out they don't want to do it to you, yeah. it's not because you verbalized it. Worst thing, you lose a friend. People make friends with you guys. Also, somebody could just say, I don't want to accept with you, and you can still bond you. Boom. And also, don't be weird and don't put them in the... Sometimes it's manipulative where you can kind of like... Uh, well, things people can be crazy about it. You could convince anybody to be with your thing. It has happened to me. I've slept with somebody really hot, mm. and then I find out after the fact they slept with a lot of like yeah. Drag Race queens. Oh, I don't know. I'm like, that's why you slept with me. Oh, like, thing. Pokemon Go. Yeah, the bone collection. <laughs> yeah. I hate that. They just There's a catch. Yeah. If you go out of way hot, I mean, there's a catch. There's a catch. There's yeah. A catch. There's this guy on my on um, he's a, a model from Twitch. He has the most beautiful face I've ever seen in The most proportionally muscular, perfect human body ever. Sweet. Hair, eyes, lips, teeth, everything. And then, I mean, yeah. And it's, it's like, you know, sometimes, there's a tiny Yeah. I, I mean, has anybody ever, has a hookup ever been ruined because it's a small mess? That's not a mess. Never. Never. That's not a mess. No. There's so many other things you can do. So many. Not touching. Stretch it out. Yeah. If it's small, I'll just come on after this one. I'll add my own. A taffy puller. I'm taking it off. I'm taking it like super down. I love it. It makes it short. I'll stick a straw there and make it punch. Yeah. Okay. If you can't take me, you can't take me at my fake silicone um, tunic, then you don't deserve me at my bald silicone helmet. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> if you can't handle me at my brown chicken, you don't deserve me at my full veneer. <laughs> <laughs> brown if you can't chicken. handle me at my tramp stamp, you don't deserve me at my... <laughs> <laughs> so much point in the situation. We're never this far away. It feels so dramatic to extend yeah. the full... Yeah. No, no. It's, it's like in like court. Like, Goody Foster, could you identify the woman you saw levitating at midnight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The universe is made up of millions of And your body has almost like a half Adam Corolla. Adam Sandler. Adam. <laughs> you know, there's so many. <gasps> you know, sometimes I think, I think I become the most famous person in the world. And then I see a close-up of myself and I go, this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do not the same thing. <laughs> I'm the well-dressed health technician who may or may not be qualified to placebo. Up back. Fix in the towel. <laughs> and if loving you is wrong, if, if looks could kill, I'd be an 18 wheeler filled with clothing with me. And welcome <laughs> to. What do you mean? Keep saying. And I'm Gwyneth Hawker's dental band made out of fitting teeth. Okay. Welcome to <laughs> oh. the show where we talk about whatever we want. Because it's our show. And not yours. That's really sick. Yeah. 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 And pose, and pose, and pose, and pose, and pose, and pose. Let's yeah. talk about being sickening, honey. Before you're yeah. sick, you gotta be sickening. So you better take that and wrap it around your neck and drive that down the street to be a Ruchi Bull. Yeah, <laughs> baby. So, I don't get sick. I have a very robust constitution. But I fear that one day, instead of like a slow burn or like a steady decline, I'm gonna be like a tough one. You're gonna drown? Yeah. You're gonna break in half and kill people on the way down? There would be collateral damage because that to make up for the amount of like times I wasn't sick, I'm gonna project that outward. You know what I mean? Even when COVID first started, all I thought about was getting sick all the time. I mean, the grocery store, wiping down my groceries with 99 percent alcohol. Couldn't get alcohol to clean wigs. Remember that? I do. I do. Yeah. Couldn't get alcohol to clean wigs because people were trying to live. Now I'm not proud of that. Like on the uh, at the onset of COVID. Yes, I did feel sick. 
But were, were my uh, cleaning practices or hygienic activities more stringent or um, no, they weren't. I wouldn't have thought. No, not at all. In fact, perhaps they may have degraded because of the lack of social interaction, mm -hmm. such as not trying to support it. Yeah, at the beginning of lockdown, I was extremely safe. Didn't see my own boyfriend for like two months. It was like, even West Hollywood, that's a dog game. Yeah. I've, I haven't even like that one. I got mono. I got the mono for the shortest time. You know how people get mono for months? I was so bored of it, I had to get it. Do you know what I mean? You were bored of it? I was like, I can't take it back to the floor. I said goodbye. You took back to TV Max, you said, can I just go cut it? And I got it, I diagnosed it at the doctor. He said, this is mono. I said, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm not going to be sick for me. You're like that woman. I swear I to saw God. That. I saw a woman on a program who yeah. had cancer and believed she could cure it with her own urine. And she was taking shot boxes of her pee and holding it up to her eye and then opening her eye and then she bring her head back. And she thought she was curing her cancer. She would drink the urine, she would bathe in the urine, she would save the urine. Are you her? Look, go. <laughs> I, I don't need cancer to grow that way. You're a cheese fat. <laughs> <laughs> there's a the I fully cast and the display of the room. That's our second book, fully cast, fully cast. My story <laughs> out of darkness. <laughs> <laughs> it into the light. What have we talked about SQI as we Oh yes. That was the last time. Yeah. That's probably the most the most common illness. That was the last time I was sick. But what did you get? Um uh gonorrhea. Gonorrhea. In this boat. And then say about gonorrhea. You will one and you will get 10 cases of gonorrhea from it. Let me corroborate your data right now. Because let me tell you what I got tested for both things. I put my mouth, but here's the wound. Okay. Why was it scared of? Here's the wound. Okay, because okay. I was in the wound. It was a splint on it. It was a splint. We got well homemade splint. It was a hair kind of popped because how does it stick? Thick rubber band. Uh-huh. You're a pain. Too and thick, though. Like, the top of it was cool. Like, it was just, just strangled. It was a mess. It was weird. It was <laughs> yeah, so I took myself in the top of your chair just a great. I went like, I'm not myself I don't like to like exaggerate. No, I don't like to it I'm So this is the way that this is the, the change here. And I went like this. Gonorrhea. Oh, instantly. Gonorrhea! A hundred percent. I did not dwell. I did not split. I did not linger on the Yep, gonorrhea. I went like this. hundred percent. Gonorrhea. And um, I, I was not warned. By the, the, by the laboratory technician about the aftermath of the medication that I was, that I was given. You want to talk about diarrhea? You want to talk about diarrhea? I do you want to talk about diarrhea? Mm -hmm. oh, I shit in the pants twice. I shit in the bed, I shit in my pants, and I puke in the street. <laughs> I know. But, I mean, that, that kind of real shot, it hurts there was too. A time, I got a little, I got, they told me, they told me, um, I'm not, just see, her name was Rosa, the mm -hmm. technician. She said, just so you know, some patients experience diarrhea. I said, this person, this is my first time at the world. I think I can handle it a little bit. I think I know my body. Thank you. Your body is a stranger. I passed him. I passed him in the house. That's gotta roll. Yeah. Oh, 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 it was touching. It was touching. That's why, that's why if I'm gonna touch, if I'm gonna touch one, I'm gonna I'm touch about 12 in an eight hour period and then just go get the barnacle stripped off the bottom of my boat. You got that stuff going on. They said, do you think you have any, uh, why do you think you have gonorrhea? Have you had any exposure to, to anybody who said they have gonorrhea? I said, you don't understand, this is me. I could look at a guy with gonorrhea and get it. You don't understand. But that's the thing about being sick in any way. You just have to stay home from work and in bed. That is only oh, stop. You have to stop. That is unacceptable to me. That is unacceptable. But you have to get into it. But I cannot have my gonorrhea. But you're old. You take vitamin? Guess what? I like a vitamin. You do? Why? Okay, I one time used to take a multivitamin. Women once a day multi. I had a Luna bar when I wanted to, you know. Every time I get in bed, I have a Luna bar and put in some Vizine. It's just for me. <laughs> oh, I mean, listen, I love my boyfriend. David, I love you. I don't even think he wants to this anymore, but he is. Oh, I'm going to be. You know what I mean? He, no matter what happens, he believes he's sick. He believes he's sick today, yesterday, tomorrow, he's getting sick next week, he's been sick, and that's too good. And we always joke about it because when you know you're a hypochondriac, you also have to like think you're sick and then go like, uh, no, I'm not. No. I'm, I'm <laughs> a, so I'm the opposite. You never think you're sick. 
and I could do that open so you're oh, you're, you're oh, no, the no. large intestine dragging yeah. behind you. You said, Don't worry about her. <laughs> you don't know her. <laughs> she got stuff going on. Yeah. Oh, the human health experience is about taking it for granted. And then when you're sick, it always crosses my mind like I just walk around not sick and I don't even think about it. When really this is what we should be doing. We should be following your train of thought, waking up smiling. <laughs> and then when that happens. <laughs> Thank you, God, for not having me be sick today. Thank you, God. You know, people say your health is all you have, but you don't think about that when you're healthy. When I have a cold, I'm calling people going, I appreciate it. it And the man can me. Through sickness and health. You know. Being sick and getting sick is one of the only things that unifies all of us. So don't be afraid. Talk about it. Don't be afraid. And please, don't hesitate to uh, be suspicious and wary of um, charlatans. So make sure that you've got one job of facts. Yeah. And do you want better? If you get sick, take advantage of it. Take an extra day off. Get the pity. Uh, go for it. Post make yourself some back nice. toxic. Take it. Take it. Mother someone. Mm -hmm. Milk it. Get in there. Go in. And now it's time to answer some questions. Why fish the female version of the pudding? It is. It's in the, it's in the little irritated brown rubbing that yeah, jabbing that chap descended Brick crease, chase, <laughs> tenderizing that, digging, <laughs> tenderizing, digging that. in the dirt, digging, digging in the dirt, just, just gauging that, that, gauging that deflated balloon. <laughs> it's funny because you're not doing it. But it's really funny. Right? And a lot of times, also the job's not blowing. So the job is. Who cares? Why do people say that? Why is it in a job? You know the guys in the app say, so you want me to, I want you to see yeah. it. Like in a vacuum. A really? Like in a black tornado. He, uh, is this a, oh, a lot of things. Girl, people are, he, uh, do you enjoy it? Very much. As a good one. It's a good match because everybody wants me. Everybody wants me to touch them with my mind. Everybody wants me to spend their teammates. Oh god. You know what they all do until they see this is the number one. Dude, they slap you around. They slap you around. You let them slap you in front of you. They break you. Nobody tried it, but I would go along with it. Nobody took you. Nobody's... Could you imagine? Could you imagine if I said it? If I said I was like, yeah, I could do it with a little pink, and they're like, good. <laughs> they you. They, they oh. oh, yeah. I'm like, I could do it with a little pink. They're like, great. <laughs> they just let me fall in, and they do this. Like, so they make it down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't sleep. Oh, my God. I hope that helps you. And if it didn't, please check out um, essential oil. And if it didn't, you're asking drive things on the internet for advice about your yeah. about your health, your genitals, your sexual health. And if you take anything to heart, um, yeah, just remind yourself that I'm a mentally unsure person in a sewer Yeah, and I'm me. <laughs> so if you have a question, you can tweet at World of Wonder using the hashtag WowHelpMe. I can I tell you. So. I guess I wonder if you know what you're going to say. I can just tell me. I can't crank it out. My breath can. Okay. And I put them on. I got this one. You got it, woman. I thought that was good. It was 15 years ago, and I was in Boston with this. That's how you get it. You can find it. The butterfly. In what way? The butterfly. It would have been pregnant. It would have been so prominent in the future in my reality. And my reality lived out loud so clearly and vividly and brightly that Colin Hunt went through the people. That the world would have fundamentally changed at every level. So if you're up and out of the world, I'll be.
Let me just say, you not having your breasts really gave the rest of us a chance. Because it would have been over. Don't look at you inside. Oh. It looks like it's I probably framed up correctly then. <laughs> Listen, you fire off as many fat jokes as you want to, because I absorb them and become stronger. And better. And better. <laughs> <laughs> we can't be transparent with you. Yeah. One of us almost canceled my friend. I had yes. a feeling. Yes, sir. <laughs> she dangled this diamond necklace in front of my poverty stricken ass. Like a mm, villain. Like a cartoon villain. She said, In a girl, in a girl, I'd like to dress the best part. And I said, You need it, I need it. He said, How are we feeling about tomorrow? You know how I'm feeling. You know how I'm feeling about our What's the, where is the transformation stand? Where is the transformation stand? I do my own microphone. <laughs> I do my microphone in that dump. Shut up, don't look at it. Hi, I'm a mean, lean, green screen machine, Christy Natal. And my only flaw is being terrible at everything. Katya. Yeah. Welcome to you. Mm. The show will be talked about whatever we want. Because it's our show. Mm. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. And pose, and pose, and pose, and pose, and pose, and pose. What are we talking about? Sickness. Here we're talking about illness. I know it's a Not mental illness. Oh, too real. Oh, yeah, we're, we're talking about physical. Physical illness. Physical illness. A bed. I don't. I'm just sick. I still sick. I love that you're like, I don't get sick. Meanwhile, me and people are like, how many times have you called me sick? Okay, I love to confess something in my opinion. Every single time I have ever called me sick, <laughs> I have never been sick. I, when you, when, okay, if I can't work, you will not. Okay, do you know what I mean? There will be no, yeah, there will be no doubt, because I'll either be in the sewer or in the performance. Mm-hmm. You'll be in that sewer that had like red balloons. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, I would consider myself a strong person. I would consider yeah. myself somebody who's supposed to do it. Yeah. When it comes to illness, you yeah, have lay down and die. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. if I'm sick, if you live with me, that's why I need to work. That's why I need to work. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Sick, you need to come over and look at me while I'm in bed. You need to sit by my bedside. You need to shop for me. I need Pedialyte, Gatorade, Ibuprofen, Wahlbutrin, Robitussin. I need a. I need an ice pack on my knees. I, I have a cough. You don't need in the eyeballs. Yes. yes. I need nail glue in the throat. I need. Um, I need cotton balls. I need hairline surgery. I need a manicure. And um, I need to be. Uh, uh, food poisoning. Food poisoning is, in my opinion, the worst thing. Never have it. Never have it. Is it a, a rain out of both channels? Yeah, and then your body has been poisoned by food poison. That's why they call it food poison. <laughs> <laughs> I looked it up. That's so helpful. I know. I'm wet and deep. And food poisoning comes on like a bat. Like a you have a bad meal at noon, you're throwing up and pooping by people. In the Uber, Gripping. Gripping the seat, gripping the door, because like when I get out of this Uber, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a stupid fun. And I'm not afraid of poop. <laughs> but, but puking, and the puking? feeling of are you going to puke, the anxiety of are you going to puke is almost worse than the puke. That's why it's like, if I'm going to puke, let's just puke. I want I'm not idle for an hour. I want you to tell me something. I want you to tell me if you did this. I want you to tell me if you if you in a pair and puke in a single time. How okay. would I do that? My bathroom is huge. I have an entire other room. I have a water closet, a WC. <laughs> but your body is deeply concerned and you are puking life. You're puking up everything, including the spit you swallowed, the water you drink, your body puts up. And then, oh my God, like the day after when you recover, the meal you eat, it didn't eat. I saw I got her dirt back. Then I'm in that kitchen in the back. I pulled over, eating the wrong meat. <laughs> Wait, what, what is a bomb possible? It will rot if I'm new. CBD. That's the best. CBD. CBD. 
I saw the poster, CBD, all the, um, all the things that the, it purports to do for you in your system, and it's like anti-aging, and I said, no, no, no. Also, all the things it says it does are like, they're not doctor people. It's the moisturizer of the, of the health book. If I have a problem with the, with the verbiage, anti-aging, you are not a hot dog time machine. I am. Hot dog time machine. This ain't no hot dog time machine. This ain't no hot dog time machine. I just, the anti-doctor. Girl. I want to do a little, I want to do a walk. Okay. You know how they do the walk the hunger? Sure. I want to do the walk. I'm going to do the walk for stickers. It's a walk for anti-vaxxing Donald the stickers. CBD taken, anti-vaxxing, uh, garbage deleting, pieces of Yo. Well, you know when COVID started, everybody was like, I gotta buy masks, I gotta buy hand sanitizer, I gotta buy toilet paper. My negative ass bought ibuprofen, Robitussin, Gatorade, because I was like, this isn't about whether or not I get it. No. I'm getting it. Do you have a compromise in this thing? No, and I think it's because I grew up fast, and my mom was like, go love your, go love yourself and sit over there. Yeah. You get and a I pet? Love the bird on it. Yeah, 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 Windex. <laughs> I, at home, it's called glass cleaner, but I love like the GL. <laughs> yeah. You need to be a lot more compassionate when people are sick. You need to call sick people, mm. check up on them, probably take the time they need, all that. Yeah. We don't fault sick people for sure. No, we go, we visit them, we take their vitamins. Whether they want us to visit them or not, <laughs> I climb right up that trellis, I come in that bedroom window, I have a fedora. <laughs> I come in the window, I do remember. I come in, I bring a large wooden piece of it. I lay it up for the bed. I invite six or seven of my friends, you come in front of the door. Uh -huh. And you sing like a three-part of range that's amazing for us all. I'm just trying to sleep. I'm like, I'm trying to help you. We're trying to exercise your demons. Mm -hmm. How about that religiosity? Religiosity has no place in the house. I'll never forget this. This is a little bit personal. My stepdad passed away about the college and I'll never forget being in a hospital with my mom. My mom said it with me. I don't care. So my mom, we're sitting there and there's these village people come in, singers, and they go, can we sing a song? for him because he's going to pass away or whatever and mm -hmm. they start singing several arrangements of like amazing day uh, and my mom stops and he goes i don't really need that i mean how do you yeah my mom goes we don't really need that and sends him on the way she said not to the american what do you think you, you think you got the second part wait 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 i'm not oh okay. one second let's <laughs> lose one second While my comments and accusations may be wrong, off base, and harmful, Facebook. I do, however, cling to the very real possibility that there is not only a point of truth, as you took back again and again. No! That was me wrong. Who is it? I, I just... Sometimes I just... Sometimes I just want to check in. My TMJ, I'll just... You know, I'm allowed to move my mouth. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I got stuff going on. Stuff going on you don't know about. I wanted to say something that's in the right time. I would love it if you yeah. had to say something that's in the right time. I really do. I think that the... I think the... sickness, wellness, yeah. That's why I go to CBS Minute Clinic. Really? And I go, can you switch that up? <laughs> you're nice in my favor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they're like, ah, uh, this is the beauty department. I said, I know where I am. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know who you are. are. And I know who I am. And I know who we are. And I know where this is. I don't know what you're going to do. Young person. You're going to go to aisle seven. You're going to get some fishing line. You're going to bring it back here. You're going to stick up my hole. 
And now it's time to answer some questions. We are medical doctors willing to go out in terms of This is Los Angeles. We could be doctors. We could be doctors. Wait a minute. Dead nipple. Dead nipple. Dead nipple. Okay. <laughs> I think that they need to check their mind. No, no. I'm here for every gay man, every type of gay life. Have you ever seen those other gay men? Why is Nicole Park? Girl? They're like, they're like, they're like rock climbing things. Like, they're yeah. only kind of people with nipples like that. They never have to climb. They walk around looking like you got two fingers from a rubber glove. You should get them pierced because you want them pierced, not because they're dead. Here's the thing that you need to bring back to the first place. No, as somebody who's pierced a lot of people at the end of their body, Nothing. 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 I wonder if they're trying to push it in an effort to get it to like be more comfortable. I think that will help. People do that all the time. People just want to push it. They do 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 it. They do